Well, I can't yet confirm that it's H1N1 that's the cause. Uh, at this point, we're not certain. I, I know that they're, uh, they've got some testing underway to determine whether that's the case. Uh, one of the, uh, the marks of this uh, H1N1, unfortunately, is that young people seem to be particularly vulnerable. And, and that's why uh, we think it's very important uh, for, for people to be uh, vaccinated once we get the vaccine here in British Columbia. Uh, my understanding is there may not have been underlying health care conditions, but I, I just don't know that for sure. I think it's a horrible tragedy though for the young woman, her family and friends, and, and the child. I understand that uh, she, she had a child. So this is extremely tragic. And as we go through the H1N1 pandemic over the winter, um, there are unfortunately going to be more cases of people that uh, unfortunately will probably not make it. Uh, as we do with every flu season, but H1N1, uh, it appears to be particularly targeting young people much more than older people. Well, I, you know, I don't want to, as I say, unnecessarily panic the public, but I think we do have to be honest with the public that this is a pandemic, and uh, that means it is going to really challenge our ability to deal with it.